Hey guys, we're in one of my houses. We're about to put the carpet down tomorrow in the morning, right? And I wanted to film this video quickly while the pad was still exposed because a lot of y'all don't know what a pad is. And don't feel bad because I didn't either. So this video is for brand new rehabbers. If you're an experienced rehabber, this is not going to be for you. But I'm filming this video because a lot of y'all are not running your numbers right. You hear people underestimate their budget. It's because they don't know what they're doing when they get in. And trust me, I had no idea what I was doing either, which we'll get into in a second. But you need to make sure you're running accurate numbers. So you're not just buying carpet, right? You have to buy pad. You have to buy tax strip, right? So let me explain. When I got into business, I jumped in over ambitious. I just jumped in and I said, they're doing it on TV. If that guy can do it, I can do it, right? How many of y'all say that? Y'all probably say that right now. They're like, look at that guy. If that idiot can do it, I can do it, right? <laughs> so that's, that's basically what I did. And I jumped in and they started pulling up the carpet. And then there was a bunch of pad underneath. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? It was all dirty and nasty. I had no idea. I literally was that new to the business. And that's a very important lesson I want you to take from this video. You act first and react later as an entrepreneur. You don't sit at home and plan forever and sit there and wait till everything's perfect, till you know everything. I know people that have been going to meetings for years, years, yet they've never done their first deal because of fear. They're sitting there, they want everything to be perfect. They want everything on their desk to be perfectly aligned before they do anything, right? You have to act first and react later. What do I mean? You gotta go out there and just do it and fail and then learn from it, learn from that experience. Because when they pulled up that carpet and my workers were looking at me and I was like, what's that? And they're like, it's a pad? Yeah. I looked like an idiot and I'll never look like an idiot again because now I know what it is and now I know really what it is and so I can teach you what it is. That's a pad right there. I'm sitting on this pad. Why? Because it's nice, soft, and comfy. Now it comes in a roll, just like your carpet. So what is a pad? So this is the backside. If you look at the floor, it's blue. It's all squishy and soft. It's to make the floor comfortable to walk on, right? Because underneath the carpet, if you just had exposed concrete from a slab foundation or the wood from a, or from a, the wood from a pier and beam foundation, it's not gonna be comfortable to walk on, right? So we put a pad underneath. The thicker, the better. But the thicker and the nicer the pad, the more expensive. So this video is on how to make sure you accurately calculate your rehab costs. Now it depends on where you get your pad and where you get your carpet from and how good a connection you have. So we can't really go into prices, but I get a pretty good price on it because I know I have a pretty good connection to do so. So how does the process of the floor go in when you're putting a carpet? So one of the things that y'all probably don't understand is there's a tax strip that goes around the corner. Right, so thin little piece of wood with a little tacks coming up that they nail in on the other side. Now what's the tack? It's like what you put the little pennants in the, in the wall or hang up pieces of paper on your wall with. A little tack strip going around. It's kind of like uh, in Home Alone when that guy stepped on the nails, right? There's little points sticking up, but they're not as big as a nail. And you're going to use that to cinch the carpet down and hold the carpet in place. Now, so you put the tack strip around the corner and then you lay the pad, which is what this blue stuff is. It's the bottom side of this pad right here which is a bunch of old couch cushions and foam and all this trash that has been recycled and compressed into a thick pad, right? This one's uh, <clears throat> a thicker than most, which is good because it's more comfortable to walk on. And then you go lay your carpet over the top. So a lot of y'all are making wrong calculations when you're rehabbing because you're not calculating in the pad or the tax strip, right? That's an extra cost. And there's lots of little hidden costs like that when you're jumping into business that I didn't know about and you probably don't know about either. So make sure you average in this cost, right? So what's another use you can use of this pad? Well, a lot of times you have houses that are kind of having a slight gradation, right? They may be a half an inch lower on the right side of the room than it is on the left side of the room. Couldn't you put a double pad down on that side of the room to make it kind of level out? Because once the carpet's over the top, you're not gonna be able to tell. So that's a great use of pad. You can put double pad in areas to make it kind of level out and be better as far as uh, being able to walk on it and not feel that movement. Instead of fixing the foundation and putting a ton of, ton of money in, thousands of dollars to fix it and lift it, why don't you just try to level it out that way first and see if that works. And then if it doesn't, then go through and put that extra money in for the foundation. So guys, I hope that helps. This is a quick uh, rehabbing tip. I know it was pretty basic, but a lot of y'all out there are getting into this business and you may not be calculating in the cost of a pad or your tax strips when you're running your rehab numbers. So this could save you uh, a lot of headache when you're, when you're missing these numbers and, and you're starting your first rehab because a lot of y'all are missing a lot off of your budget. And then you get caught up and you run a huge budget uh, that's ten, fifteen thousand dollars more than what you thought, and you lose money on that deal. So be careful, and I hope you come back for the next video where I give you more tips on how to save on your next rehab.